I swear to God, I thought I heard a skull crack. No. Misty. Oh, hey, no, no, no. Hey, hey. Oh, my God. Welcome back, gay schools, and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, The Horror Bandwagon. Sergio. And my name is Cody. And we are boys for heart analysis. Criticism. And spooky, okay? And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. And welcome back to another Yellow Jackets reaction. Today, we are going to be reacting to episode four. Mm -hmm. We are trucking along in this season, and I still don't have solid answers to a lot of things, which yeah. is good, which is good. They're keeping me hooked without having to, like, answer a ton of things. Like, you're pretty good at predicting things. What do you feel? I agree. We do not have enough information yet right now. I'm just like wildly stabbing in the dark to try to like <laughs> come up with a theory because we we just we have not had very many people confirmed to still be alive, which That's makes true. sense because we know people are going to die. And so we like they don't want to give too much away at the beginning. I get it, but it makes my job harder to try to figure <laughs> out what's going on. This must be killing Cody because he is really good at predicting things. So right now he's probably like, show, give me a bone. But before we get into it, y'all know what to do. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. And if you want to support the channel even more, you can go over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon. And finally, don't forget to join us on Discord so we can talk all about this episode. And now, without further ado, let's get into it. Shit. Showtime presents. Let's go! This girl just like... That would have freaked me out. I would have cried. Oh, he saw her dad. Oh. I don't know what you're so scared of, Natty. You've already got blood on your hands. Oh my God. We're almost there. It's been waiting for us. Are they implying that she killed her dad? I don't know. Like I mean, she bang, I'm... bang. My baby shot me down. Mm-hmm. He's gone. Remember? I buried him. Oh, so they, they took care of the the bones up there. But he clearly died keeping watch after something. But he also like had the mark of the logo that we're uh -huh. looking at. But also they seem to not realize what the logo is. So it seems like they don't pick that logo up along the way. And Travis just turns up dead. I think that was a coincidence. I don't know what he thought I was right about. I just know I'm right about this. Come on, think, girl, think. Get some help. <laughs> uh, first of all, I know a guy who can probably get us into Travis's email. Uh, but before we fire that, of course she does. Of course she has that hookup. Pop a few pins on the old cork board. I have one, obviously. Um, <laughs> don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> tomorrow then. I don't know. She really wants to be involved in this, and it makes me feel like she needs to keep track of Natalie. For That's what reason. I am getting. You know, sometimes I sing a little just to help, you know, release my bowels. <gasps> Is he poo He's pooping. He's pooping. Okay, just bear down. <clears throat> this poor guy. This poor guy. But hey, at least you have Missy there to help you out. Mm -hmm. Also, she just said the episode title. He's being fucking stupid. No, what's stupid is the fact that we have a gun and we're not fucking using it. <gasps> run, squirrel, run. If there's any one thing I know, it is that you should always save your ammo. Mm -hmm. Travis, give me the gun. <clears throat> he is the adult of the group. Mm -hmm. Good news is my father used to take me deer hunting every year as a kid. The bad news? Yeah, I am down to one fucking leg. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she knows. Mm -hmm. And she does not like it. Is 
Is that Kevin? Mm hmm. That's cool. That's a cool scene where she's like feeling that memory come to her. Use the window. Quick, uh, go. Fast. Now. Oh, shit! We weren't doing anything! anything. Oh, yeah? yeah? We were just listening to music! Yeah, you think I'm fucking stupid? Like, I came in so fast. This is what you do when I'm not around? Are you a little slut? Are you a little slut? Fun fact, Cody told me that yesterday, right before bed. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say these things to our listeners? <laughs> oh, Kevin's mixed for not. Oh. This is all I really need. That's not true, just for the record. What? What you just said. Are you a little slut? Uh, okay, the answer we were looking for is Finn. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> not the jump scare. If our kid does that, I'm saying you're grounded for two weeks. <laughs> And this is why I keep telling you, you may think it's going to be really funny to teach our kid to sneak up on me well, once then our kid until is gonna they do, do it, it to you. Yeah, they're going to end up doing it to me, of course. Oh, shoot. <gasps> Girl, you just got it. Uh, yo, Javi, come try this. Fuck you. <laughs> that would be me and my brother at that age, though. Like, we hated our guts when we were teenagers. <laughs> Yeah, and that, ladies, is Good how it starts. <laughs> nice, Martinez. That, you're up. Are they gonna be like hunting buddies, and that's how they? Could be. That's a shame. No, you know what? Next time we could just stick to something you're actually good at, like folding laundry or oh. sucking. Hey, I'm going again. <laughs> no, you did not just say that, Trav. <laughs> and what, bitch? For a second there, I thought it was just like a leg floating in the water. I was like, just an amputated leg. Like that diary? Yeah, kind of. It's just my way of trying to make sense of what's going on. Fun fact, I always wanted one of those journals that had a lock on it. Oh. Because I used to love stationery. I would always like, it just looks super cute. Mm -hmm. Instead, I got you a very fancy leather And I bound. still write in it. I never see it. No, it's true. I have my original drawings for our logos in it. So. Here. There's no wrong way to do it. I used to have a Harry Potter themed one that had like <gasps> little cute. drawings of like the Phoenix and the Gryffindor logo and everything in the background. Gryffindor! Okay, we got some muscles. I'm too busy like trying to see if I can read what the tattoos are. I feel like it's gonna zoom in and he's gonna have like the little like symbol as a <gasps> tattoo. Oh shoot. The cans. You're you're aiming for the cans. Shut up! This will be your response. That you would, would be my that. response. <laughs> Shit the bed again. You ask for another do-over. You just punch him in the face just once. So close, Flex. Don't fucking. <gasps> oh, hey, no, no, no. Hey, hey. We don't do that. What the fuck is he doing? Do it. Hey. Another one. Another one, thank you. Another one, thank you. What do you got to say about that? It's the confusion <laughs> with the texts. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a while, but uh, I'll admit it didn't really sound like you. <laughs> well, I'm glad she was honest about it. Doesn't the patio make you feel so fancy? <gasps> Is she at the restaurant? Can. Stop it. Stop. I'm sure purely by coincidence. She took her patience. She took her patience to the restaurant. ...on you two, which means you need to rely on each other. Natalie. Oh. High rank. Well, High rank bitch. of the two of them, one of them has pointed a gun at another person twice. True. Comp lit department. <laughs> well, now this is what a power couple should look like. Don't you agree? 
Well, that's why we're together. Yes, yes, power couple, power couple, power couple. <laughs> Gerald, of course. Have you given any more thought to our conversation about the county building code? Like I said before. Not one bit. She does not care. <clears throat> Hi, sir. Excuse me, sir. Hi. Good evening. Um, I was wondering. He's like, you gay girl? Forgot our IDs, but we are looking to enjoy some alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> some kind of sex thing? No, but. You know what? It might be. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Throw in an extra 20, you got a deal. Jeez, how about 10? Mm -mm. Dude, come on. Help somebody out. How did you miss so much of the quintessential high school experience again? Has anyone ever told you? He's trying to pry, which is making me think he's either another reporter or like investigative person, right? Or... He's Javi. I still think he's Javi. I feel like, but though, maybe not. she would know if he was Javi. Yeah, he, he can't look that different from when he was with them. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Check your phone, girl. Sorry, girl. You're 2021. Yeah. You're still back in the dark ages. 21. Is this meat? Yes, it is. Oh, <laughs> oh she doesn't eat meat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Probably to separate herself from that. I'm wondering what happened because she has a like, really con real connection with the wolves. Uh huh. Is it? Is that Misty? <laughs> oh no! Caught! <laughs> and she seems okay with it. She seems okay. She's been watching you. And what are you doing? <laughs> I've been having your back. That's fair. You're having my. I do feel like there's a little part of me that thinks that Misty is supposed to be a really big red herring. That oh, she is gonna... misguided, but that she is actually like on super genuine side no we can't forgive her for what she did though oh i mean of she course. really fucked them up sorry i'm getting loud <laughs> hi i don't know what you think you're doing but uh i've got my eye on you literally for sure how did your little road trip go how do you know about that girl you don't see someone you should be afraid of but uh you're wrong. We'll talk about that that red herring. Just giving red herring. Well, but she could be she could be just trying to protect herself and who she thinks her friends are. Yeah. Though I do think that it was a big red herring at the beginning of the episode, like the pilot one, at the end where we found out Bissy was part of that group. Yeah. She could be part of that group to just survive. Yeah. You know? Maybe like if they went against the group, she would be killed or who knows? So I think you're onto something. Well, here, exactly. I gotta say. You get one whack and you gotta get it over. Getting drunk and going mini golfing sounds like a really fun date. But I already suck at mini golfing. And on top Maybe of that, Maybe you'll drunk, get better when you're drunk. Ooh, that's true. You're more, you know, limber. You just. <laughs> just like, let's get some balls in holes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and I win when I get to choose what we do next. And you have to do it no questions asked what does she have up her sleeve yeah. wow you don't even know what you're agreeing to. <laughs> watch and learn mm -hmm. no fair oh where's that going well i think maybe just uh you still have to make it all right so <laughs> okay <laughs> I actually didn't. I've, ne I've never done that before. Why did you hit someone? R.I.P. Sorry. <laughs> I can't help but like her, though. R.I.P. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine her character saying that in The Last of Us instead. Oh, my God. So we can get going? What's the big hurry? Coach, need a sponge bath? <laughs> I mean, she's just trying to help, I think. 
What? What, what is this doing here? Right? It must have belonged to the dead guy. I wonder if this still works. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe there's a radio it. inside it. Oh shit! Okay. This is it. Oh, oh my god, guys, get oh, out of the stop, way! Get stop, out of the way! Stop. Get out of the way! I swear to God, I thought I heard a skull crack. I only want to help you. Oh, an endorsement from you would be... All I ask in return is that you show me who you really are. She wants to know what happened. Oh, no. So, tell me. What really happened out there? You know it was coming. Yeah. Come on, girl. You can't be that naive. I'll perfectly calibrate my tongue. As I tell you to go fuck yourself. Yes. She don't need to know. It's none of your business. But we, on the other hand, we do need to know. We need. We need to know. <laughs> Is it the mixtape? <gasps> oh. Hmm. I was actually just looking for this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I was <gasps> Stop thinking about Travis. So. At least she's honest. She's trying to tell you. It's the not knowing if he was loaded or. I can make a couple of calls, you know. I think that's what her goal of this call of this date was. I think so too. The locker room. He told everybody that I had to get one of my ribs removed so that I could be flexible enough to- Oh no. Suck my own dick. Sounds like a, like a bully kind of thing to say. Yeah. You fucking psycho! There's a ring, okay? I didn't think about it before and when you know I buried him, but it was my great- At least give her a heads up. Uh, uh. <laughs> Yeah, not good, bro. I can't. So don't. I can't do it. Jesus. She's gonna, he's gonna ask her to do it. Yeah. Right. <sighs> oh, good. It's right there. Uh huh. I mean, it's probably gonna be stuck on, though. <laughs> You're gonna have to break the finger. Yeah. Oh, God. Look away, bro. Okay, we got it. We got it back. So, can you suck your own dick? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> huh? You? I'm the one who has to go and straighten this oh. shit out. Me? I'm the one who any fucking. <gasps> It's gonna blast you. It's gonna Jimmy Neutron got a blast. That's not. That's not okay. I'm sorry. Stop stalling. Unless you're chicken. Is she asking him to like jump into the water? Yeah, I mean this is something from the trailer. I, not not from the trailer, from the like opening sequence. I think. I get hurt. Whoa. What? Are you good? Girl. I love this song. Now they're just gonna have wild sex. Oh God. Sorry, Bubba. I know. Here she is. My little girl who cried when she killed a fucking turkey. Dude, she has the gun, okay? Looks like you got the safety on. It's perfectly okay to keep a gun in the house if your kid's too stupid to know how to use it. Jeez, this is intense. Mm-hmm. The fucking useless one! The fuck did you say? Oh! <gasps> Oh, 
So she didn't even do it. She accidentally did it. Well, no, she well, didn't even accidentally do it. She accidentally did it. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Okay. Nice work, you two. Now they got to skin it and stuff. Who wants to try? Of course. Of, of course. course. I'll give it a try. Oh, this does make sense because she did. Is she going to be the skinner of, of the group? Want to hold on to it? Oh, look how happy he is. Where are you going, boss? Oh, are you okay? No. Misty. Misty, we were just talking positively about you. Well, older you, technically. Oh, he knows. Yeah, knows he's fucked up. It's Misty. I thought I told you never to call me. Yup. It's gonna be hard. Misty, can you just fucking get it out? Travis <laughs> is dead. Hello? Misty, let her process things. Man, Christina Ricci is playing her with like such There's talent. so many layers, so many layers to her. I think everyone is flawless in the show, by the way. Acting wise. Yeah. So good. Oh, I didn't say her. Uh, ah! Every time. <laughs> oh my God. I feel like we definitely got a lot more information in this episode mm -hmm. which is really good all right guys that was episode four i think it was called bear down mm -hmm. um which i think they said it earlier in the episode what do, do you think oh my gosh i like i just want to I, I say this every time i just want to keep watching more i'm really like i'm fascinated by misty's character generally because it seems like she needs to be in control of everything that but she wants to be the person that everyone's yeah. relying on but the thing is like I, you said something earlier in this episode where you said that she genuinely genuinely does things to help people out right but i think it's very selfish reasons oh i i agree with you I she think wants to make herself feel happy because she is needed she's part of the group and right now she's kind of going back to her old ways which is kind of like doing whatever she can for people to rely on her i think if she natalie's has a savior complex what what does that mean well we're like she needs to be the she needs to be the reason that like people are okay like how she was caring for the coach oh and, yeah you know as soon as he starts to get more in control she trips him it's like kind of like a reminder like you need me yeah um which is fucked up and i think she's going back to her old ways she's the one telling the the girls as to like what's going on um but not necessarily for the benefit of others like she says like, yeah. she, like oh i think you should know this i'm surprised they didn't tell you um so she's she's kind of fake in a lot of ways yeah um but again i think christina ricci is just giving this performance so much depth and it's she's doing so well in it that i'm so conflicted yeah. because i love her but i also don't trust her i do still think javi is this guy that she's hooking up with adam adam i always keep uh, mixing the names i don't know why i don't know why um maybe it's the hair but i also think you know later on it'll be such a gag if we see that adam has the same ring yes that's what we, that's yeah, what i thought they were yeah. gonna give us at the I end of this episode that, she, that he has the same ring as he was given by travis um i feel like that would be a gag but if it doesn't happen that's fine i i'm just taking a risk at putting that um theory out there yeah i was surprised by the fact that nat's dad died the way that he did yeah they got us good with that because we thought that it was her who did it um but of course like she's proven to herself that she can do it even though in the moment she didn't know what was going on with yeah. the gun and safety and stuff like that um because she killed the deer and now they're they're being fed but again it's only a matter of time until they all start to really not trust each other yeah and go their separate ways there's definitely like another shoe to drop right because yeah. we've seen this symbol was carved into the floor of the cabin it was carved into a tree mm -hmm. there's something going on that they just walked into yeah i still think that that reflection that they saw at the lake was not from the house that there's something or somebody else out there mm -hmm. because you you even saw it like with the with that 
that plane that never could have taken off because the, the the foliage the trees around there were so dense but it seemed like the vines had tied it down so that like something did not want anybody to be able to use that plane do you think it's it's still not usable you think they'll be able to like just cut those veins well those i mean vines off? they they could i don't know I, I don't know how much like fuel is in it i don't know if there's anything else that actually works about it because they got the blade spinning but that doesn't necessarily mean that it has it could power just to take, take off. off yeah exactly it probably doesn't even have any gas in it yeah like to, in order for it to go and where would you find gas in in this area unless you take some possible gas that the plane might have yeah, but it also might take different fuel than what the commercial plane had. That's true. It's likely, though, that whatever fuel was in the plane burned in the crash. Overall, solid episode. Um, this was more definitely like performance and information heavy. Um, it got us to really know the characters a little bit more. There weren't a lot of t twists and turns, which is fine. We need a little bit of a break because yeah. if we did get any twist, like a bunch of twists and turns, we'd be gasping for air um so as usual we can't wait for the next episode guys let us know what you thought of this episode down in the comments um i know most of you guys already seen the whole show but hopefully hopefully we're on the money here or like around it but i can only suspect that they're gonna throw a curveball in somewhere soon yeah but please tag anything that might be a spoiler as a spoiler if yes you discuss it down in the comments also for our sake so that way we don't get spoiled and ruin the the reactions for the rest of this series yeah I, i'll just say it right now if i ever get spoiled by one of y'all <laughs> i will rage quit <laughs> all right guys until next time we have been your source for horror analysis criticism and spooky okay and sometimes kooky entertainment bye everyone bye, bye.